konnichiwa. I am delighted and honored to extend greetings on behalf of IFSW as you begin the 21st Asia Pacific Conference in Tokyo. I know that the members of the Japanese coordinating body for IFSW membership have looked forward to welcoming you in attendance at this important joint Asia Pacific Regional Conference between the International Federation of Social Workers, IFSW, and the Asia Pacific Association for Social Work Education, or APSWE. I also wish to send my regards to our Japanese colleagues as you prepare to celebrate the 2011 Japanese Social Workers Day. I would like to thank Mr. John Ang, IFSW Regional President, Asia Pacific, and Ms. Mariko Kimura, Member at Large for Asia Pacific, for their leadership, continued support of my role as IFSW President, and their collective efforts on behalf of IFSW. The images and stories which came to us after the earthquake and tsunami were shocking and devastating to watch. Many of us within the IFSW family have been to Japan or have friends or family impacted, and we continue to stand in solidarity with the people of Japan, our Japanese social work colleagues, and the members of the Japanese Association of Social Workers. It is also my pleasure to introduce you to someone whom many of you in the region already know, but who joins you today in his new capacity as our new IFSW Secretary General, and that is Dr. Rory G. Truell. We are indeed delighted that he has joined IFSW, and as I have said in other venues, he is an individual who has an equally strong vision for the future of IFSW and who will also help us to build upon our past successes. I know that all of you there join me in welcoming him and congratulating him. This year's conference and its theme, Social Work Crosses Borders, Interdependent and Solidarity, is to help us focus on national and cultural borders, both in practice and in theory, how we feel about and treat one another, our mutual understanding, and our contextual realities. Borders can be ones of class, race, color, gender, sexual orientation, language, religion, worldviews, political opinion, national and social origin, property, place of birth, and other statuses. Interdependent living beyond borders is the real nature of human beings and of societies. Solidarity is the nece necessary to realize and secure it. Borders can also be ones of fields of practice, policies, and regulation. Scientific discipline and crossing them with solidarity is a basic principle and ethic of social work. Last June, when I was elected president of IFSW in Hong Kong, the three global social work organizations collectively agreed that the field of social work, social work practice and education, are, and social development are often marginalized in our own countries and in relevant international organizations. There is an, an incentive, I believe, for qualified and skilled people to go into and continue in the field of social work. At the same time, I recognize the challenges of funding, given the current global financial situation, largely due to the worldwide economic collapse. The decision of organizing a common congress with our sister organizations was indeed a political decision. It was done to organize social work, social work educators, and social development practitioners who wanted to work together to articulate a set of common goals. The challenges we collectively face are many and call for a united voice and more solidarity. 
Current global situations are calling for more social work unity and engagement. Beyond the shared understanding of the necessity to be organized and of being relevant in the international arena, we have to develop more clear and effective ways of promoting strategies and actions which will influence the setting of international agendas. The Hong Kong Global Agenda was envisioned as the beginning of a larger movement that we aim to lead as international organ organizations in response to economic inequalities within regions and countries, increasing inequalities and their implications for marginalized populations, increasing global political instabilities, violence, dominations, the erosion of peace-building processes, increased terrorism, and responses by states and their ways of handling global conflicts, human rights issues and their violations in relation to global, social, political, and economic situations, migration refugees, immigrants, immigration, the handling of these issues and their future implications, family issues and life challenges across the lifespan and their prevention and management, and the prevention and management of man-made and natural disasters and their implication for the social work profession and the environment emerged as major concerns in relation to the transformation of the world. There are five overarching themes I would like to draw our attention to, and they are these. Number one, the social work profession globally is necessary for creating healthy families and communities. Social workers are trained professionals with unique education and experience. Social workers provide a wide range of services across the human lifespan and in a wide variety of settings. The profession is facing serious threats which affects our ability to, to fulfill our societal purpose. And last, governments have a responsibility to support the social work profession. The 2010 Hong Kong process, which I know will be a part of your discussions, will provide us with an opportunity to take stock of our past experiences and to articulate a new and crucial global agenda for social work practice, education, and social development which can be used to mobilize our members and our partners. It is clear that the global situation requires more social work unity and engagement. Beyond the shared understanding of the necessity of being organized, we must be relevant in the international arena and develop clearer and more effective methods and strategies to influence the setting of international agendas. The social work profession has existed for over a century and has enriched many lives. Social work skills are broad and applicable in a variety of settings and make this profession unique and very important. Social workers are educated, experienced, and above all else, ethical, and provide a diverse range of services across the lifespan and are increasingly needed in the fields of aging and child welfare. As the president of the International Federation of Social Workers and myself as a proud professional social worker, it is my strong professional opinion that the demand for social work is increasing at a rate much faster than the current social work community can meet it alone and that we are indeed lucky to have as partners our colleagues in the Asia-Pacific region. As you celebrate your contributions today, know that we, your global colleagues, applaud your hard work and dedication to our profession and look forward to our continued work together. Domo arigato. <laughs>